season. It's interesting, though, to keep an eye on the rookies and how they're adjusting, Clark, to the NBA game. And every first-year player's journey is different and unique. Some come in ready to contribute right away from a physical and mental standpoint. Others really take time to get comfortable and adjusted. So we should not cast any final judgment on any player in one year. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Duran is out there with Aiton. And it's a Kogi in at the three. Now, here is Russell. Clock at four, knocked away. Paul with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Well, that was a savvy move by the veteran Paul, ensuring he gets fouled while taking that shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. 84%. That, that's what he was able to convert on a season ago from the line. Yeah, those were fine numbers he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike. First one falls for him. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And great, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. Now here's Durant after LeBron James's miss. Yep, that one goes in there. Yeah, you know, at first glance, you might think Durant has trouble finishing through contact, but think again, folks. I mean, you can't measure desire by body type. Now here's Vanderbilt. Eight points his last outing. On the wing, James. Buries the long-range jumper. Really nice-looking stroke on James' shot from out at the arc. He can make the three-point shot look so easy, just like he does every other part of the game. Aiton against Davis. To the middle. Durant inside. And James picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And it's Paul, top the key. And yes, it's good. Paul working around the defense that time to get a close shot inside. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. LeBron sets the screen for Russell. Pass to Vanderbilt. Ball's knocked loose. Paul with the steal. Outside, KD. Aiton up top. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. They've been undisciplined defensively, getting themselves into foul trouble far too early. Brown is checked in for LeBron. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Aiton a screen on Brown. A Kogi misses. Russell kicks to Brown. Back to Russell. Loads it up for Davis. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. Yeah, you look at Russell, one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Ball passes to Aiton. Vanderbilt against Durant. Over Vanderbilt. A nice shot by Katie. Durant's got his second bucket of the night. Well, you love to see Durant attacking in the lane, imposing his will. Nothing the defense could do there because he's aggressive and talented. Now, here is Russell. He had 15 points last out. Inside. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. That shot was made possible by the work of Anthony Davis. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Monty Williams. He told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration, challenge the lobs at the basket, and generally make it difficult to get to the front of the rim. 
We don't want this to turn into a dunk fest because that will not end in their favor. Guys? Thank you, David. And here is Vanderbilt after Devin Booker getting his shot to go from deep. Russell, no luck. Suns leading by three. Over in the corner, Paul. Pass to Durant. This one for three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now here's Davis. 17 points in his last outing. Over Aiton. And again, the Lakers no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Pass to Okoge. Fires the three. Tries again. Durant, no good. Boy, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Back to Davis. And finished off by Anthony Davis. It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans and Putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. Now, Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second-round exit after a grueling Game 7. So this season might be revenge time for this group. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. And the first one at the line is good. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And it's Davis at the elbow. Over Aiton. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by Russell. And it's six points for Anthony Davis. You know, with as much damage as Davis does inside, you know, AD is able to find plenty of opportunities from the mid-range, too. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Round kicks to Vanderbilt. The pass to Reeves. Six on the shot clock. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers. Davis, great confidence in this area here. I mean, he knows he can score at any time from that position. Booker outside. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Booker's got seven. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now, here's Brown. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Okogie. That's his first foul. Torrey Craig. He's checked in for Josh Akogi. Here is Russell. And he drives in. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Brown missing. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Six-point lead. Well, when KD asked out, he, he knew the Nets would get a King's ransom. Perhaps the biggest star trade we've seen in decades. But with KD on this team, they are right in the thick of it as far as contending. And the first one drops. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills 
of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Hachimura, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell. Durant nails both of them. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Knocks it loose. And here we go, Paul heading to the hoop. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Rambo, he's checked in for Phoenix. And taking a look here at some numbers for Booker. Great showing for him last season. And he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed it. to Hachimura. Back to Schroeder. Davis with it. Working on Biombo. And Davis gets it to go. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assist. Now here's Booker. He's got seven. KD finds Booker. Good, and it's KD with the assist. Booker's got nine. Lakers trail by ten. Brown outside. To the left side wing. Here's Hachimura. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And when Hachimura is looking to score, it sometimes forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling Shoot from the two. outside. They're going right to the rack. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. And that one falls for Hachimura. Chimura hits them both. Suns lean by eight. Here's Paul. He has seven. A nice shot by Booker. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. And here is Brown. Passes it to Hachimura. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Kevin Durant. And Clark Commissioner Silver noted recently as the league moves to a more selective viewing experience, load management could hurt revenues even further. 
Yeah, you know, when more fans can pay to watch individual games, it's a bit of a, an a la carte system. Um, I think you need that star power every night. And Take even beyond that, Take Kevin, I think players, Too all soft. players, but particularly the star players, have a responsibility to try to show up for work every single night. And that really should be the mindset. I think it goes beyond revenue. I think it's just a matter of principle. You have a job, you should be looking to perform every time you have the opportunity. I understand rest, but I think rest should probably be confined to practice, not the game. And the Suns making a change here. Ross has checked in. Hachimura hits them both. Suns leading by eight. Paul kicks to Cray. To the inside. Here's Booker. Second shot opportunity. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Last game for the Lakers. It was a loss to the Clippers. Pass to Reeves. Six to shoot. The Lakers moving the ball around. Hachimura, no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now, here's Biombo. No points in the game yet for him. Book around side. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Free throw, no good. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for the Lakers. And he sinks the second. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Lakers. Nine point game. There's a victory here for the home team. Last time these guys met. And they got the better of this matchup last time with the defensive pressure and the ability to force turnovers. And that really was the difference. I mean, it requires a ton of energy to play that harassing style. It'll be interesting to see if they can do it again tonight. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Not one second chance bucket allowed. That is finishing off good defense. Driving inside. Banked in off the glass. Paul's got nine points. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now, here's Schroeder. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Booker against Schroeder. Booker looking around. Craig sets the screen for Paul. And the pass to Craig. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. 52 seconds left to play in the first quarter. No good from Ross. Lakers trail by nine. Beasley dishes to Schroeder. Davis down low. Craig is on him. The jump hook, and Davis can't get it to go. Phoenix has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Booker, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Malik Beasley. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early, 
as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. Yeah, that's a big reason they're trailing. You can't allow a parade to the free throw line and expect to be on top in the game. Throw good booker. He doesn't get the second one. Craig passes to Biombo. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Booker, no good. Beasley kicks it over to Schroeder. There's the triple. Nailed from three-point land. This is where Schroeder has really improved over the years, hitting the three with some consistency. And so it's the Phoenix Suns. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen, guys from Phoenix, what do you guys see? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. Lakers trail by seven, so with Paul on the bench. Here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Duran is out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then it's Payne. Then it's Terrence Ross. And it's Craig in at the three. The small forward. And it's Russell missing. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. A nice shot by Katie. Boy, if you allow Durant that look, he's going to punish you. I mean, it's that simple. Now here's LeBron. He had a 33-point outing in the last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Durant. Six-point lead. Payne gets a wide-open look. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Payne's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency, but you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. These teams were last season's best passers, the squads with the most assists in the NBA. Fourth, the Suns. Well, I thought this team last season was a team that had some beautiful dimes. I mean, they would spread the floor with their ball movement and spacing and player movement. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Nice passes leading the baskets. Now here's Durant. He's got 11. Payne looking around. Shot clock at five. Craig can't get it to go. And for eight, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools, next steps, making more plays for others, and they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. Now, here's Craig. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Ross for three. He doesn't hit that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Pass to Vanderbilt. And here's Beasley. Let's the three fly. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Craig. Back to Payne. Pass to Aiton. Aiton. 
and he finishes nicely on the layup. Aiton's got the lead up to 11 now for Phoenix. And this is where Aiden does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on anyone. Here's Gabriel. He's covered by Aiton. Russell from long range. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. Oh, you look at D'Angelo Russell. He's got a sweet stroke. The lefty can knock it down from three, but always seems to be playing at his pace under good control. Now here's Durant. He's got 11. Count it. Durant's got 13. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Now the feed to Russell. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Ten points for D'Angelo Russell. Well, you know, this is just who Russell is, in my opinion, guys. A very assertive and confident player who looks to score the ball as much as he can. Now here's Aiton. Ross in the corner. From outside the arc, the shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And the Lakers call time here. And the Lakers making a change here. Reeves is checked in. And the Suns making a change here as well. Paul's checked in. Lakers trail by 11. There's the pass to Reeves. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Durant sends it back. That extraordinary reach combined with good timing makes Durant a real threat as a shot blocker. Good work there as it goes. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fella, guys. I mean, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Right, we know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Suns leading by 10. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA caliber players. Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. You know, once LeBron's at the rim, you might as well turn your head if you don't want to appear on a poster somewhere because he's throwing it down with force when he gets to the rack. Now here's Durant. 
a 29-point game for him in the win against Denver. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chances. And here is James after the three-pointer from KD. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Dishes to Ross. At the top of the key, Aiton. Paul goes in. LeBron grabs the miss. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Right wing. Russell with a wide open look. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his third assist on the night. Eight in a screen on Vanderbilt. Here's KD. And the Suns tack on two more. Durant's ability to score in a lot of different ways is huge. And he makes it look easy. James against Craig. James looking around. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Los Angeles shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for James. Word has it that LeBron spends over a million dollars keeping his body in shape. I think that's a big reason why he's been able to enjoy such a long career, making that kind of investment into the tool of his trade. Davis has checked in for Los Angeles. And for the Suns, a Kogi's checked in for Torrey Craig. And it's Devin Booker in for Ross. They are perfect from the line in this quarter and need to stay aggressively in attack mode. If they want to gain control of this game. Aiton, the pass to KD. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. Aiton, a screen on Russell. Paul passes to Aiton. Great tee that time from Davis. Lakers trail by 11. Outside, Russell. LeBron sets the screen for Russell. Over Paul. Just five on the clock. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. LeBron's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Now James, after the miss three from KD. LeBron wishes to Russell. Pass to Davis. Vanderbilt kicks to LeBron. From past the arc. Second chance shot. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Vanderbilt. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Oh, Aiton in position. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Reeves. 20 points for him last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. And if you look at his free throw numbers, you can see what kind of pressure he put on the defense. He was in attack mode all night long. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. So it's the Lakers now. The Suns getting the bucket. And here's LeBron outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. LeBron's got 10 points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Ball finds Durant. The ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. 
outside Russell. Passes to Vanderbilt. He dishes it to Davis. Lock at six. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And they get it back. Rebound by the Suns. Dayton's got rebound number five here tonight. A Kogi, the pass to Paul. Now here's Booker. Over LeBron. Booker's shot is good. 15 points in the game. And because of that high basketball IQ he possesses, Booker takes great shots, and he knows the value of the mid-range game. Davis kicks it out to James. James with another miss. Here in the second quarter, he's been cold from distance. I think he may need to adjust his approach. Over in the corner, Paul. Back to Katie. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, that's the kind of pressure Durant puts on the defense. I mean, you just can't sit back and let him do what he wants to. Body up on him, even if you may risk a foul. Good from Durant. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scores this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive. and he's consistent year in and year out. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Russell. And Phoenix also making a switch. Biombo's checked in. Durant nails both of them. Lakers trail by 10. LeBron outside. Fades and shoots. Schroeder up top. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Well, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Pass to Durant. Shoots over Hachimura. And it's Durant that time on the assist by Paul. Paul's got six assists now in the game. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Hachimura finds Davis. Here's Reeves. Five to shoot. And there's the pass to LeBron. He hits it from nine. That's 12 points for LeBron. You know, LeBron in the paint, I think, is major trouble for just about every defender. He can power his way to the basket, or he can pass you into being dizzy. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Now Schroeder pass to Hachimura. He kicks it to Davis. It's hauled in by the Suns. They've led by as many as 14 points. Lobbed up there for Booker. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. There's 10 seconds left now here in the second. Three-pointer. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got assist number eight here in this one already. You know, not every player can make that kind of a pass. I mean, Paul makes it look easy, but it takes really tremendous vision and timing to execute that. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Phoenix Suns. He's up to 26 points in the game now, just keeps pouring in the buckets. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, a very effective first half. What are you seeing that allows you to attack them so effectively? Well, one of these games is very up-tempo, fast-paced. And, you know, if they just run, I, I have fun, you know, assisting and passing them the ball. So 
a fun game for me. Game's easy when you play downhill. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And Kenny, were there any specific teams you looked forward to playing? I mean, any team Shaq was on because you had to be hyped for that, you know, especially when you got Akeem, when they go on head-to-head. -head. I always look forward to that. Yeah, you, 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 you're lucky you had him, Kenny, because you were terrified to come down into the paint. Not true. I wasn't terrified. Just a little bit uh, shaky. And going back to that first half of play, guys, Kevin Durant doing what he does best. He's really on a roll, isn't he? Once a guy gets in rhythm, it can be hard to shake him out of it. We'll see what the defense has planned for him in the second half. So far, it seems like they're just hoping he'll run out of steam. Not a great strategy if you ask anyone. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. And there's Davis. And there's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And you know, once Russell catches fire now, let him eat. I mean, he's got the ability to take over games with his scoring. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Pass to Davis. From down in the low post, it goes. Davis has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Los Angeles. Paul kicks to KD. Back to Paul. The three. Suns keep it alive. And that one's good, Aiton. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiton. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. Now here's LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often... That's, a, that's not a pattern. That's a, a characteristic. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by nine points. Russell from long range. And that one is off. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. Pass to Aiton. Go, 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 go. 
And the pass to Okogie. Shot clock at six. Nifty move. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, I like this from Okoge. I mean, still refining his perimeter game, so he makes his presence felt inside. And he's got his first chance at the line here. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And because he struggled with his free throw shooting so much last season, I thought he was hesitant at times to be aggressive. Um, wasn't looking to draw contact and was trying to avoid getting to the foul line. Lakers trail by 12. Pass to Vanderbilt. There's Russell with the three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Paul surveying the floor. From 15 feet away, and James pulls it down. LeBron's got four rebounds now tonight. Now the dish to Russell. Back to LeBron. Shoots it. And again, no good by the Lakers. Suns leading by 12. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Phoenix, no good that time either. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Devin Booker. You look at AD, and you know he's taken his share of contact over the course of his career. And quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. And the Suns making a change here. Craig's checked in. For Los Angeles, they have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Numbers last year for them, just about 73%, so the bottom third of the league. And I know the free throw shooting is an area they focused on improving coming into this season. And he makes the first. You know, with that combination of strength and length, Davis can easily overwhelm defenders and get himself to the foul line. So he gets them both. Suns leading by 10. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. a chance to look at the stats for James coming off a terrific season last season put up about 30 points a game eight rebounds and six assists and you can't help but be impressed by his numbers you know guys I think he's the engine of this offense he makes them go without his scoring I think they'd be a totally different team defense the Lakers 
Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Craig with a screen on Russell. Here's KD. Count it from 12. Durant's got 28 points for the game. You know, of all the things Okogie does well, his passing tends to get overshadowed at times. I mean, easy to see how creative he is on this feed. Now, here is Russell. He's got 17. Back to LeBron. Five on the clock. Over to the wing. Reeves. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Akogi, the pass to KD. Tipped away. Last break, the Lakers. And it's Davis finishing it off. Davis, such a terror in the open court with his size and speed. That's a really lethal combination. Booker the pass to Paul over Russell. And it's Paul missing. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. It's a 10-point game. Passes it to Reeves. Vanderbilt with it. Loads it up for Davis. And finished off by Davis. Well, I tell you what. It's rare that you see a big man with offensive skills like Davis has. He is a talented, rare player. Now, here's Craig. Kicks it to Booker. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. And it's Russell missing. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Terrence Ross has checked in for Josh Akogi. Lakers trail by 10. Ross with it. And here is Davis. Leaves the pass to LeBron. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Vanderbilt, a screen on Paul. Russell kicks to Vanderbilt. Four on the clock. Ties again. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltending. Good hustle right there. I love that effort. Just a little late in the act. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for James. Landry Shamit's checked in for the Suns. Suns leading by eight. And the Suns call time here. This is the list of last season's top shooters from the charity strike. These guys were practically automatic. Kevin Durant third. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department.
Here's Booker. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Booker's got four this quarter. That's their third straight make off an assist. Davis in the corner. Takes a three. Hits the three-point bomb. He's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Now, here's Shamit. With the fadeaway. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. KD's got 30 points. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And it's Davis missing. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Pass to Ross from deep. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. This is to Russell. Beasley outside. The pass to Vanderbilt. Loads it up for Davis. Out to Russell. Puts up a three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Booker outside. Craig sets the screen for Booker. Fires for three. And it's Russell with the rebound. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Reeves, defended by Booker. Davis inside. KD's on him. That doesn't go either for Davis. Suns leading by six. Booker the pass to Shamit. And here is Ross for three. And the three ball is good. Ross has got his second basket of the night. And that's where Ross has been most efficient. Raining it off the catch. Love it. Outside, Russell launches a three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Now, here's Shannon. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Booker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Biombo is checked in for the Suns. Both free throws good from Booker. Lakers trail by eight. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Biombo. And another basket for the Lakers. And so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Feeds it to Biombo. He dishes it to Booker. And the dunk by Booker. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. Beasley, the pass to Russell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. And so Russell hits them both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. 
Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Craig can't get it to go. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by six. Inside, here's Hachimura. Ross grabs the board. Phoenix has gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Pass to Shamit. Fires the three. Another three for Phoenix. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Now here's Brown. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Good on the three-point shot. Booker's got 11 in the second half. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Davis setting the pick for Brown. Out to the wing. Russell from long range. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it run dry. Keep firing that thing. Lakers trail by six. Pass to Beasley. 109 left in the third quarter. Back to Russell. Top of the key. They get the rebound. Davis. And finished off by Anthony Davis. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Now, here's Craig. Shamit up top. He's guarded by Russell. And it's Shamit missing. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies on a possession. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Davis. Booker pulls it in. Suns leading by four. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Now the pass to Ross. Let's it go with a three. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting at 51%. Really solid. Russell kicks to Beasley. Misses the three. Here's Payne. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Payne's got five points so far. And so it's the Phoenix Suns with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And we'll be back with you shortly. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, this has been a great contest so far. And I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Setting the floor for the Suns. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pick. His neck, Biombo, is out there with Durant, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward. I think LeBron is best shooting the ball off the dribble. And his accuracy, spot on. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That's foul number two for him. Phoenix with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's a Kogi. 
And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Russell finds James. Pass to Vanderbilt. And it's Russell in the corner. Six to shoot. Over KD. Russell, no luck. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Sinks the three-pointer. And he's got plenty of range and the confidence to match. Booker believes he's going to hit every three he takes. And here's Russell after Devin Booker getting his shot to go from deep. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for the Lakers. Yeah, the step back. Good. He hits the jump shot. Look at the touch on Schroeder's shot there. Making that tough mid-range, Jay. Easy, slim pickings. Paul passes to Biombo. The dish to Durant. Pope loose. Paul against Schroeder. Davis with a screen on Paul. LeBron outside. Lock at six. And he converts the layup. LeBron's got five points now this quarter. And one of those players who will not be denied. LeBron's so strong inside. Okay, time now for an injury report. And let's get an update on DeAndre Ayton's injury. David, what's the news? Well, Kevin, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for the Suns. He's getting looked at now for what the team is saying is a collapsed lung. Obviously something that is very serious and something they don't take lightly. Coming back tonight is not an option for him, and they are hoping he won't have to miss too much time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute... That's really a helpless field. And they double up James. Can't connect from short. Range. Suns lean by four. Here's a Kogi. Passes it to Paul. It's Biombo atop the key. He kicks it to Booker. Another three for Phoenix. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Here's Durant. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now a nine-point Suns lead. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. And here's Booker from the arc. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds now in the game. Shooter kicks to LeBron. Dishes it to Davis. Shooter outside. Pass to LeBron. A fader. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And that's now 21 points for LeBron. 
Call against Schroeder. Hooker with no one around. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And the Suns lead by 10. And the Lakers call time here. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant. Well, he has absolutely been ferocious in this one. Right from the opening tip, I mean, he's made his presence felt. It's been impressive watching him outwork and out hustle everybody during this game. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooters. On the offensive end, if you don't have an open shot, pass it around. We'll see if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. Thank you, David. Now, here's James. Driving in. Nobody near Schroeder. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Schroeder's got eight here in the quarter. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well, knows what's coming and usually always makes the right pass. Schroeder surveying the floor. The pass to Vanderbilt. Durant against James. Outside for Davis. LeBron trying to free himself up. And a can Los Angeles with the triple. You know, it's been documented how hard Davis has worked on his perimeter shot. There, you see the results. Craig passes to KD. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down. Pass to Vanderbilt. Oats it up for Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They've got an 8-0 run. He nails it. And we're tied up. Davis has got 36. So impressive with the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. And, you know, they're looking good, really good right now because of him. He sees this game by the throat, and he's squeezing hard. Davis against Gray. Booker outside. Booker draws the double. Passes to Craig for the three. Another three for Phoenix. A delicious dime from Chris Paul there. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Six-point game. To the wing right side. Schroeder. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got assist number eight here in this one already. Craig up top. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Oh. 
Ball outside to the paint and stolen by LeBron. Oh, that's a tough pass to make there. He had a very narrow gap to squeeze it through and just couldn't get it done. Clever move by Schroeder there, ensuring that he drew the foul while also still getting the shot up. good from Schroeder. What really makes Schroeder special is the energy he plays with. I mean, it's contagious and infects the entire team. He's like a lightning bolt of energy when he hits the court. Schroeder hits them both. The Suns have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. To a Kogi, three pointer. A three pointer is right on target. And the Suns lead by four. Knocked down that time by Josh Kogi. He's been working on that jump shot, and you can tell, trying to be more consistent with it. Outside, Davis. Picks it out to James. Trying to get open is Davis. They get it again. That one misses. Suns leading by four. Ball outside. Up top, Durant. Covered by LeBron. KD dishes to Booker. Basket good. 43 points for Devin Booker. And here in the fourth, he's carrying this team right now. Five of seven from the field. Schroeder passes to Davis over Durant, and Davis gets it to go on the assist by Schroeder. 38 points for Anthony Davis. And, and you know what? He's really been one of the few bright spots for them, trying to will this team to victory. Here's Paul. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Dennis Schroeder. The craftiness of Paul really on display everywhere, but especially inside and forcing defenders to commit fouls on them. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. The Lakers making a switch here. Russell's checked in, and Phoenix also making a switch. Landale's checked in. Both free throws, good from Paul. Chris Paul sets a fantastic example for younger players. I mean, CP3 defines what it means to be a pro. Now here is Davis. The pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. Down to five on the shot clock. James has a two-pointer. Nails the wide-open jump shot. LeBron's got nine points in the quarter. There is no doubt about who they were going to on that one. Of course not. LeBron coming through. Paul passes to Landale. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Russell against Paul. Now, here is Russell. He's tightly guarded. Here's Vanderbilt. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Making the right choice there. I mean, Russell, this is what scouts like about him. His feel, that intuitive feel for the game. Pass to Landale. Booker inside, and Booker throws it down! He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got a show. And that one's good, Russell. And now just having some fun. Russell, you know he likes the big moment. Great confidence and great results. Now here's Booker. Here's Katie. 
Lakers with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Reeves. Looks it up for Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. Boys under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. A D. Here's Paul. One ten left to play here in the fourth. That one, no good. The Lakers go the other way with it. LeBron passes to Russell. Vanderbilt is screen on call. Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Try for the fadeaway over the taller defender. I like the idea. Good move. Bad result. Here's Reeves. Offensive rebound. James kicks to Davis. Outside, Russell. Right between the eyes. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by one. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's what you take. You know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in the game. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Al Paul. Got it up in time. It falls! That's really a great move if you can pull it off, especially against tight defense. And the Lakers call time here. Guys, what do you think? Not sure they have enough time for the catch and shoot here. Uh, only hope is to try for a tip in off the inbound. They've got their work cut out for them on this possession. So it's Phoenix who straight by with the win. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much. Kevin, we expect big games for you. How do you put together four quarters of excellence like tonight? Well, I'm just playing off my teammates. I'm not trying to force anything. Uh, just take what the defense gives me, and I'll be aggressive. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.